If you ask any business owner where they get most of their clients, almost always the answer is going to be word of mouth. And it's true, referrals from others are so powerful, especially because it's somebody else saying that you're as good as you claim to be. Like it's one thing me saying, hey, you should hire me, I'm a great website designer. But somebody else saying, you should hire her, she's a great website designer, look at my website, is so much more powerful. And so we want to take any step that we can to encourage those referrals wherever possible. Now, the thing I love most about testimonials is they have the ability to turn one client into 10. It's so powerful. But the one thing that we often forget to do is ask for the testimonial. And it can be because it feels uncomfortable or you're unsure when to ask for it. I tend to do a project wrap up call and it's there that I ask for the testimonial. So I'll say, are you, would you be happy to endorse it? I get like the informal yes. And then I don't feel so bad about sending them the follow-up email with the testimonial form. You definitely want to get it at the end of the project or before the project ends because it's so easy to forget about it once that client moves on. And not because they don't want to provide you with a testimonial, but just other things come up in their calendar and this is no longer a priority for them. So to make things easy, I'm going to share my exact testimonial request form. It's really simple. Customize it and make it your own. The whole point is it's an easy way for you to send this to a client to encourage those testimonials to generate more leads and more referrals because even when you're asking for this testimonial, one thing I like to do in the email is follow up with, do you know three other people who might be interested in this service? So as well as the testimonial, asking that one question can be so powerful because you're just planting a seed in their mind that you're looking for new clients and now they're thinking about who they could refer to you. Now, as always, the link is in the description. All you have to do is sign up and you will access this and all of the templates that I've been sharing this month, which are designed to help set us all up for success the next 12 months. So I'm giving you all the little parts and you can piece them together and use them to take your business to the next level next year. So here we have just a simple, that's a wrap. It's a pleasure working with you. You would customize it to their name. We want to give them some reference points so they know exactly what to touch on. A lot of times, if we want a testimonial to be powerful, we want to encourage them to speak on specific value points that other buyers would care about. So then they'll give their review. You can also ask for feedback and suggestions on how you can improve your own processes. It's a great add-on as well. And then asking for permission to share this on social media. And then you can also say, would you be willing to share this exact testimonial on Google My Business and LinkedIn as well? Because we know having those on Google Business is great from a search engine perspective. And LinkedIn is obviously very powerful if you're using that platform well as well. Then I have a little thank you for trusting us with your business. And once they complete that, you have that. It's stored, saved, and you can use that in a multitude of ways on your website, in your social media, when you're sharing your services guide with clients, there's so many different options. And the last thing that I want to mention that goes alongside this is that once I have finished wrapping up a project, I'll usually send a little thank you note or a thank you gift just to let that client know that I really appreciated working with them and the experience that we had together. So again, those three elements, asking that question, providing the testimonial, and then sharing a little thank you gift as a sign of appreciation, usually is so helpful in encouraging referrals. So I wanted to share that with you in case it's something that you can implement into your offboarding process as well. Like I said, the link is in the description. I hope you sign up. You will access all of the templates that I've shared. And if you're enjoying this series, let me know in the comments. Make sure to subscribe and click the little bell icon so that you can be notified when I next post a video, which is tomorrow. I'll be posting a video tomorrow. You should come back for that.